Yo, how you guys feel? Yo, we just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show. Hey, hey, hey. What's good, everybody? How y'all feeling out there? So you guys know Trucker Brown from YouTube, big, you know, trucking YouTuber. He did a video recently called Ask Me All The Questions. So me being me, I went in to, you know, watch the video. I also went back for the purpose of this video to get all of the questions that was asked of him in the video. The questions that was asked was very good questions. And I thought I'd just jump on and see if I can give, you know, some of my thoughts on the questions, right? So let's go ahead and start. You Bro, ain't got the answers. Kanye, you ain't got the answers. Bro, I'm asking you You a ain't question. been doing the education. Bro. You ain't been doing the education. Kanye, calm down. You don't have the answers, though. Calm down. Because you're trying to give me advice. John Williams, all right? He asked, what do you think about the box truck gang? I'll be honest, man. I don't, I don't think about the box truck gang. I've never done it. I have no input on something I ain't never done, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I, you, you, ain't you, you, you ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers, Sway. Box truck gang, right? I'm not hip to it, but I know a little bit. I know a little bit about it. And like Trucker Brown, I, you know, I haven't done Boss Truck, but it's interesting to see these guys, you know, getting into a different type of hustle with Boss Truck. Uh, for starters, you don't need your CDLs. All you had to do is just get a, you know, just get a Boss Truck. You can either rent one or, you know, find one on the cheap. And all you had to do is pretty much jump on uh some low boards like you ship or you know any other low boards that uh that people use to you know to pick up loads you know so i mean boss truck i mean if that's a different type of hustle you don't want to get your cdl you know and you just you still want to be in the uh in the industry of uh moving freight you know, Boss Truck just might be the way to go. Matthew Knight says, I need a part-time driving job. I just beat cancer, but still have a doctor's appointment. I have my CDL for a year now, but only three months of experience. Please help. I don't have part-time driving for you, Matthew. I don't know. Okay. I, you, you ain't got you, the if, answers. If you you, you ain't got the answers, Sway. Matthew, let me just start by saying congratulations by beating cancer. Um, I know cancer is a big, uh, you know, it's a big health issue right now. So congratulations on beating that. As far as a part-time job goes, when you get into trucking, it's it's really a full-time, 24-hour type gig, man. Um, I, I'm not sure if any, especially mega carriers, that's going to take anybody on to do part-time. Uh, you got you got regional, and that's about as close to part-time that you're going to get, and local. But even with local, you still going to be doing a lot of work, not just driving. So if, you know, if your health uh, prevents you from doing a lot of manual labor, then yeah, that's not going to work either. Um, I would suggest that you try, you know, these trucking temporary agencies. Um, there's a lot of them. You can look them up on Google and you can look them up online to see if any trucking temporary agencies that are available and you can probably link up with them and get part-time work uh through them the only problem is you only you you had your cdls for a while you know about a year but you don't have that much driving experience and that's what some of the major carriers and small mom and pops is looking for they they looking for driving experience not how long you had your license but how long you actually drove the truck uh, with only three months of experience it is going to be tough real tough again i will probably say local will probably be the way to go but you will be doing a lot of work so you know just uh just look into that and um and yeah, and like I said, man, congratulations on beating cancer. 
and you know much success in your in your trucking journey Texas Tanker Yanker, what's going on with these names, man? With high fuel prices, is leasing still viable? Hmm, good question. Yeah, I guess it would be, man. You just gotta pick the right freight. I'm assuming I don't. I don't drive lease no more, so I have no dog in that lease fight. I, you, you ain't got you, the answers. If, if you, if, you, you ain't got the answers, Sway. You got a lot of people that's gonna put their opinions out there because we all have one. I'm just saying um on leasing and and what's you know what's viable right now i'm just gonna throw it out there i am not a lease driver but i do know a lot of lease drivers that are hurting you know for the simple fact that some of them don't know how to manage the business and with the high fuel prices you know putting the uh, putting extra stress on them i don't know I don't know, but for the ones that are successful in it, you know, they might be the ones to actually come on and tell you, you know, give give you their outlook on how they are able to handle the business. Robert Smith says, what other things you can do with your CDL? So all you can do with your CDL is drive with it. So I don't know what other things you're trying to say. You have to elaborate on that a little bit more. I, you, you, you ain't got you, the if, answers. If, 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 you, you ain't got the answers, Sway. Bro, that, the, you know, to be honest, that is a very good question, Robert, man. There's plenty. There's plenty to do with your CDLs, all right? Not only that you can drive semi-trailers or semi-trucks and trailers, but you can operate heavy equipment, construction equipment. Uh, you can operate buses with the passenger endorsements um you can operate you know mid-size bus uh the bus you can operate mid-size box trucks or straight trucks as they call them um you don't need your cdl class a to, uh, to operate those those uh straight trucks that's you know like fedex you you see those fedex ground trucks those straight trucks right there the only issue that I have with, with straight trucks, though, they require you to do teams. Um, they want you to already have a team driver set up to operate uh, straight trucks because they're more on the expedited side. Those are the type of trucks that you really got to have it there the next day. So say like somebody orders something today and they got to be there tomorrow, they, re they rely on the straight truck uh straight truck guys to get it there and you have to like i said you have to run teams so if you're not uh, a team driver type of driver then straight truck might not be your bag but there's uh, there's a lot of opportunities out there for your cdl you you just don't have to use them for tractor trailer driving risk key 33 says is eleven hundred dollars to thirteen hundred dollars net that's take home a week local good for a rookie driver uh eleven hundred thirteen hundred net weekly is good for any driver bro well, locally i just a rookie yeah, yeah. I, you, you ain't got you, the if, answers if, 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 you, you ain't got the answers sway hell yeah bro hell yeah that is that is very good for a rookie driver and take home a week yeah, bro. Net take home, bro. Yeah, if if you are being offered that, jump on that, my G, because you don't have to. If if you're the type of driver that you know that don't want to go over the road or anything like that, and a local company is offering that kind of money, that's the same kind of money that you would get if you was over the road as a, as a rookie driver or less. I, I digress. You are are you not telling us that we have to work for that money? <laughs> I, I need a little bit more insight on that, my G. But yeah, that that is a good that that is good for a rookie driver to start. Spoons and forks. Bro, that's your name for real, my G. Spoons and forks. You, I mean, what was it? You, you couldn't come up with a better name for your YouTube name. Maybe one day you were setting up your YouTube channel and you was like, you was eating, right? 
you 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 was eating, and then you said, hmm. I got it. Spoons and forks. You say any tips on getting work after DUI? Oh, sir, I do not drink alcohol, so I really would not have the appropriate tips for people who got a DUI. My only tip is to don't do drugs. That's all I can say to do is don't drink alcohol, bro. I can't. <laughs> I mean, that's just the truth, bro. Uh, <laughs> rich music, stop drinking. Like, I, I don't know, man. What's up, Rich? I don't drink alcohol. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't really know what the procedures are. I'm sure there's somebody on here that knows. I, okay. You, you ain't got you, the if, answers. If you, if, you, you ain't got but, the answers, Sway. Ooh, man, that's, that's a tough one, my G. That is a tough one, bruh. Um... Even coming into the industry or coming into any trucking company, yeah, if if you have a DUI, you you already blacklisted. I'm sorry. Um, a lot of companies requires that the DUI be some of them requires as long as 10 years to be exonerated, bro. So if you just got your DUI, yeah. Yeah, that's that's going to be a tough one. Um, you can try uh, with companies like Western Express. I mean, I don't I'm not a fan of Western Express, but from what I hear, uh, Western Express is a second chance company. And if you do have a DUI, you know, they can look at it and take it on a case by case basis. But but yeah, my bro is it's, it's going to be tough for you, man. Um Hopefully, you know, you can get it, you know, just find something local, find something. Um, I, geez, I, I don't know. I, I could say just find something like on a delivery level. Like, you know, if you want to still be, you know, move freight and all like that, Find something on a delivery level to, you know, to do that a couple of years. I say do it for about three years, man, and then come back. Come back, man. But as of right now, yeah, it's, it's going to be tough, my G. It, it, it really is. Nappy Goodness. Man, that's another name. What's I, I like the name, though. Nappy Goodness. <laughs> that's what's up. Can anybody recommend a good mini fridge? Does it depends on what truck you have? Okay. I, you, you ain't got you, the if, answers. If you, if, you, you ain't you, got but, the answers, Sway. No, nah, bro. Um, I mean, I got a mini fridge. I, I went to Walmart and got me a mini fridge. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it depends. You can you can pick up a mini fridge from, you know, the truck stops. Or something like that, but you know, Walmart and does it depend on what truck? I, I really don't think it does. You know, it's just the space of the truck. You know, if if you have a space for a narrow refrigerator, you'll be able to put it in that little cubby hole. Or if you have like a bunk, like a like a um like a you know, double bunk in your truck. I've seen a truck driver and his name is Trucker Jim. And he actually got a full size, a, a mid size refrigerator, and he put it up on the top bunk of his truck, and he was able to, you know, secure it and fire it up and have a have a mid size refrigerator in his truck. So I really don't think it depends on the truck, but if you have like the space for it, then yeah, you'll be able to get yourself a good mini fridge. L Hunt says, "Why is it so much uh, politicking and, and oos kissing at these local jobs, man? Y'all don't know the half of it. What's going on in these offices, bro? There's so much politicking. I don't know. People are just terrible people, bro. That's all I can say to that. You know, all this politicking and stuff because people want to want to be liked or want to be revered as something that they're not. Do go to work, go home. It could be all the politicking they want. I'm not there. And Booster, thank you for the five dollars for the cash out." You know, it could be all the politics they want to go through there. I'm not hanging around for politics. When they start that politics and type of stuff, you know, I'm I'm Gucci. I don't I don't I don't involve myself in that. 
for 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 there to be politicking, you have to participate. Yeah, you, you ain't got you, the answers. You, you, you ain't got the answers, Sway. Good question, bro. I I personally haven't heard much about uh about the politics of um uh, of uh local jobs. I mean, I always thought that from what I heard, I always thought that local jobs will be, you know, is the one to actually get. And it's 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 a lot it's it's a lot tougher to get into it because a lot of local jobs don't want to take you on because of the less experience that a person has. But over the years, I come to find out that there are some local jobs that will take you in regardless if you're a new driver or a veteran driver. And as far as the politicking go, uh, I don't know. I mean, I haven't I haven't drove local. I mean, I always looked at it, you know, but.